Hello everybody, Zach Lyon here, nutritionist in Denver, Colorado. Uh, I'm a huge fan of supplements. They can correct imbalances, they can take you beyond levels of energy that you'd ever experienced before. Um, they can solve problems in your life, in your body. And uh, so I love taking them. I've always loved experimenting with the newest and the best and the, you know, the, the newest ones. And um, through all of this, I've gotten a very good understanding of which supplements uh, to take when. And uh, no, you probably don't need a vitamin A supplement. Just eat a healthy diet. No, you probably don't need a vitamin E supplement. Just eat a healthy diet. Um, those things won't hurt, but save your money and uh, eat well, save your money, and spend your money on other supplements that uh, uh, contain uh, chemicals and compounds that don't readily appear in nature. Um, and so what we've got here, uh, what I want to talk today about is uh, a, a chemical uh, called oxaloacetate. It is a uh, mitochondrial food. It, it, pro it provides energy to the energy-producing uh, organelles in our body, in our cells. Um, so there's a guy named Dave Asprey. You may have heard of him. Uh, he is the Bulletproof Executive. That's his blog. And he owns a uh, website or a company, uh, that used to be called Upgrade Itself. Now it's just Bulletproof. And they provide a lot of uh, supplements, a lot of foods uh, that are very high performance. And people give him shit for over-marketing his products, which he might, but he makes a good product. And so I'm all about his products. Um, if people want to, you know, get upset about his over-marketing, then you know, stop subscribing to his newsletter or whatever, um, and then stop worrying about it. Um, he's a guy who I really think cares about high quality products. I don't think he bullshits on the quality of his products. Um, I've heard some other stuff, but um, he makes a high quality product. His company makes good stuff. And one of those products is oxaloacetate. It is... Um, uh, I think he's marketed it as uh, un, uh, upgraded upgraded aging or something like that. And, um, you know, because people like to buy anti-aging stuff. but um, And it does. It does uh, help your uh, prevent your uh, mitochondria from aging, quote-unquote. Um, but uh, I, I recently listened to uh, a podcast that he had on someone... I'm forgetting exact uh, exactly who uh, his name was Alan Cash. I don't know what Alan Cash uh, his background is really, but um, I'm sure they talk about it in the show. But um, they talked about uh, oxaloacetate and its uh, effects on the body, and really its effects on uh, the mitochondria. Um, and so, you know, this is a uh, age, an anti aging supplement because it helps your body produce energy. And that's what your body has a really hard time doing as it's aging. So um, briefly, uh, oxaloacetate um, has been studied. It's been uh, uh, there have been animal studies on it, which aren't always uh, transferable and applicable to uh, humans, but uh, a lot of times they are. And uh, I'm I don't have the authority nor the knowledge to uh, say whether or not oxaloacetate in in particular is. Uh, a good uh, chemical to study on animals because it translates very well uh, into humans. That varies from chemical to chemical. It's not the same for every one, and so I can't say. But oxaloacetate has been studied on animals. What they found were uh, a number of things. One, uh, an increase in mitochondrial density. So you get more mitochondria per uh, space in your cells. Um, and... Uh, these mitochondria kind of like, you know, wrap and uh, have this kind of uh, uh, ribbon uh, type uh, arrangement and uh, it increases the density of them. So you get more. That's good. Um, and by increasing the mitochondrial mass, uh, they saw an improvement in brain functioning. Um, so the brain had more energy to perform. Kind of just makes sense, right? Uh, glu glucose uptake uh, was improved. Uh, which is great, a more efficient use of uh, energy in the body. 
Um, Dave Asprey would say, don't eat glucose whatsoever, but um, uh, there you have it. Um, another thing they found was another thing that they found was a decrease in brain inflammation. Uh, this is great for like aging people. Uh, this is great for anyone who's not sleeping enough. This is any. This is for anyone who uh, is uh, uh, sick or uh, stressed out or anything like that. And um, so that's good. Brain inflammation happens when you don't sleep enough, when you're stressed, a number of other things. If your brain's toxic, uh, if there are toxic chemicals floating around in your brain and in your bloodstream and elsewhere. Um, and they also found an increased uh, number of neurons uh, produced by the hippocampus. Um, I'm not sure if they mean as mice were, uh, I, I'm not, I wish I, I that's all, that's all I, uh, that's all I've got here for that. Um, I don't know if they're talking about uh, mice that are growing up or from generation to generation. They're seeing that Mice that were given oxaloacetate, their offspring have more neurons in the hippocampus um, or what. But uh, the hippocampus is an area of the brain associated with memory in particular. Um, and uh, so that's good for brain functioning, uh, you, could you could imply. Uh, the studies were done at UCLA um, and... Um, uh, so they, they talk a little bit about kind of what happens um, uh, when you take uh, oxaloacetate. Um, uh, so they, they ask the question, why does calorie restriction increase lifespan? So what there's this uh, common uh, experiment that's been repeated in worms, in mice, in, and in everything in between, where if you restrict an organism's uh, calorie intake, they live longer. Um, they, and it's been repeated over and over and they see it uh, in, in all different sorts of animals. And that's interesting, but what you've got to imply there is, well, if I want to live longer, I have to eat less, but that's not much of a life now, is it? Um, so um, anyway, they talk a little bit about what happens there. And uh, what happens is an increase in NAD uh, to NADH ratio uh, is the start of that process. Um, then uh, these mole uh, molecules are made that turn on and off genes. Um, and this kind of gets to epigenetics, epigenesis, uh, methylation of uh, genes, turning them on and off. Um, and this is uh, actually where uh, they discovered the benefits of oxaloacetate. Um, and uh, another uh, point here that should have been uh, discussed a little earlier was that uh, when animals were given oxaloacetate, they would live 25 uh, to 50% longer, which is a lot. You know, imagine if uh, we could live 50% longer just by taking oxaloacetate, some supplement that you can just buy anywhere. Um, that's kind of impressive. And what they saw was it seemed to mimic uh, calorie restriction. And that's... As far as I can see, that's initial reporting. It, it, it's showed up in studies, but um, this is initial. I'm not sure you could say it exactly mimics calorie restriction, but what they're saying is that they're finding that that is kind of what it does. So, you know, keep, keep your ear open for that. Um, kind of like I mentioned, they started with worms, flies, mice, and they kept seeing this life extension uh, in animals similar to calorie restriction. Um, which is great. So you want to live longer, maybe take oxaloacetate and you'll live to 175 instead of whatever, nine, you know, 90 or whatever. Um, so they found uh, in a clinical trial in 1960, uh, so this has been, uh, it's a chemical that's been studied for a while. And I've, if I remember correctly, oxaloacetate appears in many different forms, like a lot of different, uh, like every chemical out there. And I'm, I'm no chemist. I didn't pay attention to chemistry in high school, uh, so, I, so I can't help you there. But um, um, oxaloacetate is one of the forms. And in uh, 1960 in Japan, um, they were looking at it, uh, extracted from a mountain herb uh, for uh, diabetics. 
And the title of the study here was actually Studies on the Anti-Diabetic Effect of Sodium Oxaloacetate. Um, and as I said earlier, it demonstrated gluco glucose level reduction in humans, which is important, humans. Um, I, I've got a link here, I think, to that article. And then I've got a link to the uh, product on bulletproof.com and a uh, link to the podcast where Dave Asprey has on uh, Alan Cash to talk about upgraded aging, oxaloacetate, and uh, all of these benefits that I just, uh, th I mean, these are the notes from the show. So if you feel free not to watch it or take a look at it if you want, maybe uh, there's something I missed. Um, so again, I'm a nutritionist and I use uh, functional nutrition to help people improve their lives. What's functional nutrition? It's just using nutrition in an intelligent way. In, in, in you, uh, approaching nutrition and the human body um, from a systems of systems approach. Um, the body is a system of systems, and so when you improve one thing, that gets better. Okay, great, but that thing getting better causes other things to get better. That's functional nutrition, and to me, functional nutrition is a bit... Um, of finding the easy way to live well. You don't. It's not hard. Don't make it hard. Take a simple supplement. Go get some oxaloacetate. Live longer. Have better mitochondria. Have more energy. Have a better brain. Um, one one thing I wanted to mention about this was they did say in the uh, the show that um, oxaloacetate it's not a stimulant. So you you don't take it and you suddenly feel it. It's, it's, a, it's more of a nutritive chemical. It nourishes and, and provides um, uh, nutritional, uh, quote, support to your mitochondria. So what happens is the mitochondria take a little bit of time to respond to it, and so does the rest of your body. And so um, unlike caffeine, where you take it and you feel it immediately, it's a nutrient that helps build a better body, and that takes time. So... Uh, what they mentioned through this uh, was that, you know, when can you expect to feel or notice the differences of oxaloacetate? And they said, you know, almost uh, like two months or like 90 days um, uh, because the body takes time to respond to an increased, uh, you know, nutrient uh, uh, availability. So, um, yeah, anyway, check it out. Give it a shot. Try some new supplement. It's great. I've tried it. I really, really liked it. Um, I, I did notice after I took it for three months, um, I was thinking clearer. And, you know, people always say it's mind over matter and this and that, but maybe, but uh, who cares? <laughs> you know, um, it worked. Um, but really, there's good science behind it, and so it, it's not mind over matter. There's, there's, there's good science showing what happens when you take it, and uh, I felt more energized. I really did. So check it out, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, that's it for today. I'll uh, post probably something tomorrow or the next day with something else, more functional nutrition information. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll talk again soon.